Hey there, gang. Oh, my radar meteorologist, Matt Capucci, with a quick tropical update for Hawaii. We have three different systems we're watching across the central and eastern Pacific. One's already a hurricane. The other two probably will become hurricanes. Now, the lead disturbance isn't one yet, but it will likely develop soon and could make a run towards Hawaii this weekend. Then we have Major Hurricane Gilma, Category 3 right now with 115 mile per hour winds. It will likely make a run towards the archipelago mid to late next week, too. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more severe weather and hurricane information. And be sure to follow my radar across the board on all social media platforms as well. So jumping right in, here's a wide satellite view across the eastern Pacific. You see there's a lot going on out there right now. But notice this, here's our lead disturbance. Has a 90% likelihood of developing over the next couple of days. Right now it's about 1,000 miles east-southeast of Hilo, moving west at about 15 miles per hour. Here's what it looks like right now. You can see it has some good convection or shower and thunderstorm activity, and it's decently tall. And the way we know that is because this satellite looks down and sees cloud top temperatures. Anytime we see those purples, that means really cold clouds. So the clouds are tall enough they're reaching the upper atmosphere where it's very cold. So again, we know it's already an intense tropical wave with decently tall thunderstorms. And I do think it's primed to intensify. The reason being, it evades harsh upper level winds. You see those winds in red to the north, but our system kind of skirts south of those. If it hit the winds, the winds would kind of tear it apart, but it's not doing that. So I think for that reason, it escapes the harsh conditions and will start moving towards Hawaii while straight Strengthening slowly. It's also moving over decently warm waters between 77 and 80 degrees, which isn't red hot, but it's hot enough to at least cause gradual strengthening. The only limiting factor is we don't have divergence or spreading of air aloft. Usually if we have spreading upstairs, that makes like a vacuum in the upper atmosphere that pulls up warm moist air in contact with the waters below and helps the storm strengthen. That won't happen this time. So that's why I say best two out of three and I think for that reason, we're not going to get rapid intensification, but we will see gradual strengthening, steady strengthening, and it might become a hurricane this weekend. Now, where's it going? Well, that depends on how quickly it strengthens. If it strengthens sooner, it grows taller sooner, and it feels easterly winds aloft, and that steers it farther west, which means it passes well south of Hawaii. But if it stays weaker in the short term, it'll feel more southeasterly winds, which will push it northwest, probably closer to Hawaii. So again, strength matters in terms of track. Regardless, I'd say plan for squally weather, downpours, especially in south and eastern facing parts of the islands, and probably some rough surf too. The worst impacts likely on the big island because they're farthest south. Now we also have to talk about Gilma. It's a major hurricane right now, like we said, category three. It flirted with category four status. You see, it's really symmetric and has a nice hollowed out eye. It's also something called an annular cyclone, meaning it's basically one ring of convection or thunderstorm activity and strong winds around the eye. It doesn't really have many spiral rain bands. It's just one solid ring, kind of like a donut. Now that symmetry will help it survive a little bit longer and probably weaken a little more slowly. So if it does make a run towards Hawaii, it would be in about like a week's time, say sometime next Wednesday, Thursday, albeit in a weakened state. As always, my radar is with you nonstop during hurricane season. Follow me on social media, follow my radar across the board. And as always, we've got you covered every step of the way. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.